Hi, I'm Leo Marks, Director of Golf School Luxembourg. Today I'm going to show you how to control your distances. So, the weather is good. It's a bit warmer than it was. That means that luckily for you guys, the ball's going to go a lot further. Plus the fairways are harder, which means the ball will roll further. Wonderful news. Unfortunately, that means that your ball's now going to potentially go further than the hole. Well, how far do you hit it? So how is it we're going to sort this out? There's a few different methods. Number one, you can hit lots and lots of shots, and then you can pace them all out, remembering which ball you hit with which club. Very time consuming, I must admit. Second option is to use a flight scope. So this is my flight scope here, and it doesn't take that long. I get people just hitting a few shots of different clubs, and I never ever show them what their data is. That way, they don't try to hit it harder or softer. We get the standard information. So here's an example of some of the data we're gonna get. I got a six iron, eight iron, and pitching wedge here. I don't bother with the seven iron or the nine iron. It just takes too much time. And the golfer will later be able to see all the results, and they're usually very surprised. Now you're gonna have all this data and you're gonna be able to write it down. Fantastic, check it on the golf course. It will go up and it will go down sometimes, but if it goes really one way or the other, then it's time to recheck your swing, especially if one club's gone further than the other. So if you never ever cleaned your clubs before, don't clean them for the test, because you're gonna get a different distance. The friction on the club is gonna be different. Plus, if you always play from the grass on the course, try if you can to play from the grass with a flight scope. If you play from the mats, the distances might be different, but don't worry, you can recalculate uh, this later. That's not an issue. Luckily with flight scope, we can also find out if the ground is hard, it'll calculate a roll for you. If the ground is soft, it'll calculate a roll for you. So we should be able to figure out some good distances. They will not be 100%. Each day it changes with wind, with conditions, with altitude but at least you have a good global thing to test. Then go on the golf course, give it a go. Good luck to everybody.